This common room level isn't really that hard, but there are a few kind of difficult strats you need to know about. You are going to want full health here, because we are going to do an intentional damage, so if you haven't already knocked over this collagen, knock it over, because it can spawn a frog. Coming over to this staircase, what we are going to do is jump onto the banister right about here, and then try to jump onto this one right about there, and then jump off and land on that lamppost down there. If you don't want to do this, you can of course go around, but that is much slower. If you have the health for it, and I do, you're going to want to do this strat. So aim right for the corner. First jump, second jump, third jump, quick succession like that. And if you did it correctly, you'll land right on that lamp and you'll still have like half health or so. It's also important that you land on the right side of here because if you land too far in, this will start moving and just throw everything off. So it's important to aim very straight. That was probably too early. Yep. Timing's a little weird for this. See, that's what happens when you jump too late. I still took a lot of health. So if I had jumped a little earlier, I would have still been able to make it onto this lamp, but I would have only taken about half damage. Don't worry if you can't get this perfectly. It's very precise. And there's going to be a lot of frogs coming up anyway in forest and other levels, so if, if you don't, you know, get the advanced version, it's really okay. This thing right here is a little wonky, so just make sure your character is fully on it before you start strafing right to get closer to the door. Sometimes it doesn't work. So this room. This room. There is some weird collision. Notice how my spell cursor... Look at that. It like stops. And I can't like cast through this weird part of the room here. As I'm walking in. It's just a bug in the game. Yeah, there it goes. I don't know why that happens, but sometimes when you try to cast at these ropes, your cursor kind of won't... Yeah, there it goes again. If you look to the right here, it doesn't work. I don't know why. It's so weird. So just my strat to avoid this is just kind of walk into just straight in the middle of the room and then just look left. And then, if you go over here, doesn't work sometimes, so so just look left in the middle of the room, and then kill that one. Now here is actually the coolest strat in this level, it's called Bridge Skip. We're gonna do some clever platforming to get across this section. So there's a cutscene, and then that cutscene will conveniently place you facing forward, so don't touch your mouse after you've hit it, except if you want to look down. I'll show it off. What's gonna happen is you're gonna walk into the save. That's not gonna make it. You're gonna raise the bridge and then just jump all the way across and get to the other side before the bridge goes back down. It's kind of precise. So the first jump you want to do right about here. Jump as you're crossing this patch. Land right on the edge of this. Do another jump as you're crossing this. So you want to jump, you want to land on the edge of this jump before you actually get onto this part that goes down because walking up and down slopes is slow so you want to jump like that and then you're going to do one more jump to get across that's kind of hard to describe at the end i'll show it all together just like that now i made it look really easy there but you're probably going to fail this a bunch of times when you're first learning it i will give you a hint though the first jump is the most important one. If you do this too early, like this, you're really not going to be able to make it across. You're going to fall and die every time. So because the game normally kind of stutters for a moment after you grab the save, I actually recommend grabbing the save and just waiting. Like this. And then going. Jumping tech is extremely important here. This trick is very hard without it. The first jump is the most important, like I said, so you really want to time it right now, like that. So you catch the very edge of this. Because if you don't do that, it's, you're going to have a really hard time getting across. And the second one... Okay, that was really good. For the last jump, you want to go later than you think. 
You also want to make sure you're going completely straight. If you're, if you're looking off to the side even a little bit, it's going to increase the distance you have to cover. The best I can describe for the timing is right as the bridge is starting to go down. So when the bridge is, when you're about here, that's when you jump. Vertically. So I'll show it kind of looking straight so you can see how much I drop before I jump. I don't really know how to explain the timing method I use for this. I just kind of do it right when I think like, oh, this is the last possible moment where I can make this. Because you really got to wait till just the right time. But the first jump is way more important, so what you should be practicing is the first jump. The last jump is the hardest, but it actually matters the least. It's got the biggest window. But if you jump in like this, no matter how good your second and third ones are, you're probably not going to make it. So really practice hitting the very edge of this thing. So when Goyle's like here, that's when you go. And that's pretty much it for the hard stuff, really. The rest of the level is just kind of minor optimization, so feel free to skip it if you're only here for the big stuff. Be a little careful in this room, because if you shoot this while you're standing over this pit, you'll just die. So instead, what you want to do is get up on the railing, jump, and then shoot so that by the time the cutscene happens, you've already landed. Be a little careful of these guys, because they can hurt you, and you don't want to lose any more health, especially if you failed the uh, staircase strat. You can cut some of these corners by going on the inside of these pillars, get a little faster of a line. Now, depending on what kind of cycles you have, the uh, these guys will be on in predictable places. Something's not right. What are okay, so that's not supposed to happen. So I'm on weird cycles because I kind of stopped to show off things. These guys aren't very fast, but they can catch you, so just be a little careful. <laughs> 